Hi, I'm Michael. I'm a business manager at CM Industrial, and today I'm visiting Rovis's. Here with me today is Matthew Wise, the director of Rovis's Netherlands, and I'm here today to understand what is a systems integrator. I'm Matthew Wise. I'm our European director for Rovis's in the Netherlands. I'm responsible for the office as a whole, uh, business development, recruiting, some project management, and growth of our employees and the, the company. So when did you join Rovis's? I actually started in 2003, right after I graduated university. How did you get from there to, to where you are today? There's so many different opportunities within Rovis's. It was really looking out for the next challenge and where I, and where I wanted to move within the company. So what makes Rovis's different? At our core, Rovis's is an independent systems integrator. And what does a system integrator do? So literally, it means we configure, deploy, and, and start up control systems in various markets for our clients. Rovis's take, though, is that it's not about the product or the vendor platform. It's about the solution to solve the client's problem. And are there any particular industries or clients, uh, client industries that you're working with more so than others? Our Netherlands office has been particularly focused in the data center market because that's how we founded the company. Uh, in general, Rovis's is op operating in most industries where there's control systems, specifically pharmaceutical, specialty chemical, information systems, um, MES, and historian databases as well. I had the chance to get a practical, hands-on demonstration from Devin Worley, who is a senior project engineer. Devin quickly ran me through a few products which are typically included in a systems integration project. This is an entire rack. This is mostly PLCs, network, electricity. So part of what integrating a system is, is taking some sort of controller and it processes data. So here is a field device, so this is a temperature transmitter. This can be anything. It could be, um, it could be a humidity sensor. It could be a, um, like a RFID scanner for a door. Everything comes back to this PLC and then it's transferred over the network. So this here is a multimeter. This is one of the important tools of electrical engineering. But uh, something we can get you to do here is this is the negative lead, this is the positive lead. So if you just touch the negative lead here, so the black one, and then touch the red one here. And so we should see 24 volts. So now we know our power supply is working. That seems very simple, but whenever you're doing testing and commissioning on site, uh, that's always a good first thing to check. If you're ever wondering, why is my device not on? That's a good place to start. I also had the chance to speak with Walter Lang, who is responsible for business development for Europe. Firstly, I was interested to hear about what his role includes. Well, besides my commercial role, I'm also involved in hiring of new people. I do all the contacts with the universities, Dutch universities and high schools to acquire new people to fill up that beautiful new office upstairs. Mm -hmm. What makes Rovis's Netherlands stand out? Rovis's is a worldwide company. We serve worldwide clients and we serve them with a high level of quality. Our clients have a demand for standardized quality around the world. We are able to deliver that standardized quality throughout Europe in the many countries where our clients are active. And what do your clients expect from, from you, from Rovis's? Our clients expect from Rovis's that we design their control systems or do updates to their control systems. They want us to deploy the projects for their control systems. And uh, they want us to stay within their project budgets and um, execute their projects with, with, with high level of quality. I really enjoyed my meeting with Rovis's and I'm looking forward to see how they grow in 2020.